Let's talk about moving shapes. You'll notice that my shapes, when I click on them, I can move them around and they overlap in the order that I created them. So I'm going to tell you a couple things about moving these shapes around. Number one, if you use your arrow keys, you can move your shape a little bit at a time. Now, if you're trying to really fine tune your shape and move it just a tiny bit more, you can hold your shift key and it will move an even smaller amount. This is my favorite trick for moving shapes just a tiny, tiny bit. Now, if you're thinking, that's great, but how do I move this triangle to the front? I want to move it that way. I want to move my shape up. Well, click on the shape that you want to move. And I have another nifty keyboard trick. Hold down your control key and use your arrow up or down, and it will change how it is layered. So when you hit up, my triangle moves up and in front of everything. When I click on my heart, my heart will click up in front of everything. And when I click on my circle, I'll hit up, but I might have to hit it a couple of times to bring it all the way to the front. So if it doesn't work right away, try clicking your key a couple of times to get it to work. And then the last fun way to move your shapes is to rotate them. So you'll notice I have this little dot by my anchor points. If I click and I drag my tool, you can see that it rotates my shapes. So there's a lot of ways to create shapes, to fill shapes, to layer shapes, and to rotate shapes.